Hi everyone, welcome to Not The Norm. This is a three-part video on measuring the body. So uh, in this first video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just set up the body so that uh, everything is lined up and, and ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is go to the website and there is um, a PDF file that you can download that has a spreadsheet of all the measurements that we'll be taking. So to look for that, go to fitting, um, measuring the body, uh, and then there's a measurement uh, spreadsheet there. So once you have that printed out, on the first page under uh, measurement 20, which would be the dart placement, go ahead and write in another measurement uh, called the, the neck box. Uh, list it as A uh, vertical and then B horizontal and that'll be a, an extra set of measurements that I've decided that I like to um, to get the um, the neck and the shoulder correct. So uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to call your friend and you're going to say hey come over and help me measure my body because I can't get to the back side very accurately so uh, invite your friend over feed him lunch maybe a glass of wine after you've done the measurements. So um, do that before you begin. So uh, another thing I want to comment on is accuracy. I know that there are a lot of women who kind of get hung up on, well, yeah, I'm, I don't think my measurements are perfect. Don't get hung up on the accuracy. Just make sure you draw in your little landmarks and then go ahead and do the measurements. Any any inaccuracies will be worked out in the fitting garment that you're going to make. Okay, so uh, you're going to get your supplies together. You'll need a, a washable marker, uh, some quarter inch elastic, five yards is usually pretty good. If you're a larger gal, go ahead and get a, a, a bit more. You'll need a right, right angle L-square. Um, metal ones are kind of nice. Uh, some masking tape. Uh, the printout that I mentioned to begin with, and some pins. So gather those all together and uh, get those ready. So uh, a word on um, waistlines, um, which is uh, important and uh, doesn't really get kind of talked about enough, I think. Uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit about this here. Uh, this is Eva. She resides in OptiText, and I have modified her a little bit so that she's uh, not quite so perfect as she originally was. Uh, this is the waistline, and a lot of textbooks talk about waistlines being horizontal or they're measured horizontal to the ground, and uh, I would say, I, I don't know if I know too many people who have horizontal waistlines. Maybe it's because I run with an older crowd, but... Um, Waistlines uh, can be one of three ways. They can be uh, straight across. Let me show you real quick here by drawing. They can be just straight across like that. Or they can be what is referred to as tip to the front, which is what I have displayed here on Eva, in which the waistline goes down like this. And that is more typical of people who have a sway back. So uh, it's not anything that's abnormal, it's just the way you are. And then there is the other one, which is the um, tilted to the back, which means that your waistband kind of goes more like this. And that is typical of somebody who has maybe a slumped posture or a very, very flat behind. So be aware that when you place these elastic lines, which I'm going to ask you to do, um, they when when you put that on, let that rest, wiggle around a little bit, let that rest to wherever it's comfortable, and you'll notice whether or not it's tilting up or in the back or or horizontal, and and that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start placing elastic uh, around the body to mark where your circumferences are. So uh, the first one goes at the bust and it this one is uh, horizontal to the ground so and it crosses uh, the bust point all the way around the back horizontal to the ground. Uh, one thing you need to note 
when you're doing the uh, the bust um, elastic placement is you'll see a gap right here this is called the bridge the bust bridge and you need that to be taught across here uh, because uh, when you measure from the neck down to the waist that measuring tape cannot fall between the breast it has to go over that bridge to get enough length there to go over the bust so um, sometimes what I like to do is put a little pin in uh, where the bus points are uh, attaching to the bra um, just to mark where the the nipples are on the breasts and then it it anchors that elastic so that it doesn't move around so uh, that's the bust the waist we kind of talked about where it you know it's going to settle to wherever is normal for you and um, it's kind of wherever the waist is the narrowest okay so the next one here is the abdomen tape and this one is placed wherever the tummy is the fullest so on Eva here her tummy peaks out about right here I'm going to put that tape on it and it's going to be horizontal to the ground okay the next one is the uh, hip tape hip number one and that one like the uh, abdomen is placed wherever the bottom peaks out uh, at the at the fullest curve so on Eva it is right here see how it's and it's going to be go around horizontal to the ground all right the next one is the hip joint and this is placed wherever the legs bend um, and fold so that one again just wherever kind of feel where your legs bend put a tape there and it's horizontal to the ground now I would take um, masking tape and put some tape on these uh, elastics to hold them in place so that they don't shift around the elastic might um, the elastic might uh, lift as you're trying to measure so um, one thing I like to do is uh, use the marker and and place some points uh, dots to help me um, keep track of where those elastics should be should they shift so um, the first one I might place on there or the series of the ones I might place on there is um, dividing the body visually in half at the sides so I might put um, a dot uh, right here uh, I'll put one right here a dot here a dot here and then one down here at the um, at the uh, hip joint tape so um, I'm going to rotate her a little bit here uh, I would also put one a dot or draw uh, right here at the waist divide these um, in half measurements uh, if you get into the garments and you don't want to draw on your garments you could always put a piece of masking tape there so then again you want to do this side and you're going to draw um, up here on the Uh, bust line, the waist, and the other hip lines, wherever it visually divides the body in half. Okay, and then on the back, um, you want to go ahead at least draw uh, one right here on the um, the back waist because you're going to use that as a reference mark. All right. So some other places where you're going to draw is um, up here you're going to take your L square and you're going to line it up so that the, uh, um, the edge of the L square touches comes across the clavicle bone right there and then comes down from the neck like this. So the inside of your L square is going to hit against the side of your neck and then up to wherever this U-shape uh, bone 
is. And this is what I'm going to call the, uh, the neck box. You want to draw a dot right here. You're going to want to draw a dot right here. And then uh, draw a dot up here at the, um, the neck point. Okay. Um, another place you're going to want to draw a dot is right here at the shoulder point and that is uh, where the arm lifts up and if you put your finger in there you can tell where that joint is you'll you'll feel a little divot you want to put a point there and whoops, excuse me and you'll want to uh, make that point you can kind of see where she has a little bit of a divot in her arm here you'll want to draw um, those dots so that 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 one that's at the neck box is right behind her ear right here and then lined up with her uh, shoulder joint here and across like that so so that this is the uh, shoulder seam line is nice and lined up uh, it could be a little forward it could be a little back it's uh, it's wherever it visually kind of has a good placement on the body okay so um, those are all of the um, the setup points for for the body um, we will measure uh, the largest circumference of the arm here will measure the circumference of the elbow and the circumference of the wrist in addition to the circumference of the thigh the knee and the um, the ankle you don't necessarily have to put tapes on those um, when we do measure them we'll mark them a little bit uh, with dots so that um, we can measure uh, the lengths so we'll measure the lengths in order to uh, get those the same on the patterns okay so that's pretty much it for setting up um, the body for measurements uh, the first part we'll do is we'll run through the measurement chart for the upper body so look on the website for part two which will be the upper body and uh, we'll get going. All right, thanks.